What's going on everybody, I'm Raphael and welcome to my channel, Network Engineer Pro. In today's video, I wanna show you how to get a CSR 1000V up and running inside of EVNG. The CSR 1000V, which stands for Cloud Service Router, is a great platform to use when it comes to testing features or routing protocols that you wanna implement in production. Also, the CSR is great for learning routing protocols for Cisco certifications. As a matter of fact, the CSR 1000V was the primary router platform that I used to study for and pass my CCIE lab exam back in 2019. About 90 something percent of the exam topics could be done on this platform. All right, so are you ready to get it running in EVNG? Let's do this. All right, so the first thing I wanna show you is what happens when you try and add an image in EVNG that you don't have. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a test lab. So add new lab, name it test, and click save. It's gonna put me right into that lab. Now I'm gonna right click, add new object. I'm gonna select node. I could also put my mouse over here in the left, see add an object, click that, and then select node. Now I wanna add a CSR 1000V. So you can see here that the CSR 1000Vs are grayed out. I'm not able to select them. Let's go ahead and get that fixed. The first thing that you wanna do is you wanna open up your favorite file transfer program. I like FileZilla. And then you need to SFTP to your EVNG VM. So to SFTP to my EVNG VM, I'm gonna type SFTP colon slash slash, and then I'm gonna put the IP address of my VM. So 192.168.1.250. Go ahead and put the username. So for me, it's root, put the password and hit enter. Perfect, I've just successfully SFTP'd into my VM. Now, when you're working with these Kimu or Qmu images, you need to place them in a very specific directory. That directory is opt, unit lab, add-on, and then Qmu or Qmu. I, I have no idea how to say that. Here you can see the current images that I already have. I'm gonna go over here on the left. Now this left side of FileZilla, this is my local PC, the directory where my images are. Over here on the right is gonna be the remote VM that I connected to. So I'm gonna select CSR 1000V and I'm gonna drag it over. You can see here the progress of that transfer. Perfect, now it's done. So you can see here is the folder. If I double click it, I have two files here. Guys, very important. You need to make sure that the folder name and the image name begins with what EVNG is looking for. And to find out what that is, we need to go to their documentation. So over here is the homepage for EVNG. It's evng.net. And I'm gonna click documentation. Once I'm in the documentation page, I'm gonna click Kimu Image Namings. Here's where I'll find the directory that the images need to be placed and a table with all of the vendors, what the folder names need to be and what the image names need to be. So if we go down to CSR, So we need to make sure that we're using the right version. So I'm using version 17. So we need to make sure the folder is CSR 1000 VNG dash. As long as the folder begins with this, we're good to go. I can put whatever I want at the end. The image name needs to be vert IOA. So I'm gonna copy this folder name just in case I do need to change it. I might not, but let's see. And I'm gonna go back to FileZilla. I can see here that the folder name for the CSR is CSR1000V dash. It's missing some letters. So I'm gonna right click, rename.
So I'm going to right click the folder, select rename, and then add the word ng. CSR 1000V NG dash. As long as I have that, I can put whatever I want at the end, like the image version. I'm going to go into the folder. I'm going to delete this YAML file because I don't need it. And you can see here that the image name needs to be fixed. Remember, for the image name, it needs to be vert IOA. So I'm going to highlight it, click rename, erase all this, and put vert IOA and hit enter. There we go. The last thing I need to do is SSH into my even GVM and fix the permissions. So now I have secure CRT open. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit file, quick connect, and I'm going to enter the IP address of my even GVM. It's already here for me. It's 192.168.1.250. I'm going to click connect. I'm going to enter the username and password. Let me zoom in here for you so you guys can see good. And I'm going to copy this command to fix the permissions. It's opt unit lab wrappers UNL wrapper dash a fix permissions. Hit enter. It's already a good sign that I see online check state and it says valid. That's good. Let's let it continue and make sure that no crazy errors pop up. Okay, perfect. I'm back at the even G prompt. The fix permissions did not fail. We're good to go. I'm back inside of even G. I'm going to right click, add a new object, select node. And let's see if the CSR 1000 V is clickable and it is. So it's not gray anymore. It's actually blue. So I'm going to select it. Okay, that's good. I can see the default CPU and RAM that it's been configured with, and I'm going to hit save. Now that it's there, I right click the node and hit start. After a few seconds, it should turn blue, meaning that it powered on. There we go. I'm going to double click it. I'm going to open it. And now here it is inside of secure CRT. So I'm going to give it a few moments to boot up. And then once it's done, we'll come back. Okay, so that did take a few minutes, but you can see here that I'm presented with the initial configuration dialog. Heck no, I don't want to do that. Would you like to terminate auto install? Sure. There we go. Let me hit enable. Config T. Question mark. Here's all the awesome options that I have. There we go. So I type router and then I hit question mark. Here's all the protocols that I can use. And I've successfully added the CSR 1000V to even G. If I want to turn it off, I just right click it and hit stop selected. And once it turns gray, that means it's off. And there we go, that's all there is to it. Awesome, we are ready to rock and roll. The CSR 1000V is up and running inside of my Even GVM, and that's all there is to it. Pretty simple. Let me ask you a question. Have you used the CSR 1000V before? If so, let me know down in the comments. All right, that's gonna be it for now in this video. I really hope that you found it helpful and learned something. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel so you can stay up to date on my next video. That's gonna be it for now. Thanks everyone, have a great day and lab on.